Good day, viewers. Walter here. I thought I'd spend just a little bit of time talking about what I do to save and store my videos that I produce for my viewers here on YouTube. How do I save all my videos that I produce? The answer is simple. I use external hard drives to store them all. My desktop computer has 914 gigabytes of space on the hard drive. 769 of those are still free for use, but it wouldn't take long to use them up producing large files such as videos. So I try to conserve the room on my hard drive and save everything to external hard drives. There are 1,000 gigabytes in a terabyte. So you can easily see that on my computer, it wouldn't hold very many videos. It would be totally foolish not to save all the videos that I spent so many hours creating. I do hope my videos remain accessible to my viewers for many years to come. But you never know what could come in today's future. So I save my videos. Let's take a look at my hard drive it is right now. You can see the external hard drive that I have currently hooked up is one terabyte. See over there on the left, the C drive only has 914 gigabytes. Any other external hard drives would show up on this page right here, but I have them all disconnected right now. We're gonna put the new one on there in a minute. Good day viewers, Walter here, sitting here in front of my computer today. Thought I'd talk a little bit. We're looking at my, my computer screen here. We're working at Windows 10. Let's look at this PC. On the drive here, you can see the C drive, the DVD drive, and the little small jump drive I got stuck in the USB slot right here is disk 7. Well, I produce videos for YouTube. Now, let's look right here on the C drive. My entire desktop computer has 940. 14 gigabytes on it. That sounds like a lot. Well, is it really? I've already used 769 gigabytes. When you use up that gigabytes, you're running out of memory. You gotta remember, I produced a new uh, YouTube video every, just about every day. For the, back to as far back as 2010, I believe it is, I've been producing videos on YouTube. And an average video can run one, two, three, four, five hundred gigabytes. So it don't take too many gigabytes to use up all your memory. Well, when you think about it, you produce a, you'd put a lot of work into producing a video. Um, let's see if I've already uploaded it. Here's my YouTube videos that I'm currently holding on this computer. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like about 17. I ain't got my glasses. 17 videos I'm holding on this uh, desktop computer. Let's just point at the first one. It's 1.44 gigabytes. This video took up 526 gigabytes. Birding with Walter, that took up only 1.03 gigabytes. Leftover beans that was 342 megabytes. So some of them are almost a gigabyte, some of them are more than a gigabyte. When you've only got a thousand in a whole terabyte, terabyte sounds like a lot. Well, this computer don't even have a terabyte's worth of room on it. So you think about it since back to 2010, I have produced hundreds of videos. Well, don't think for a moment that I want to lose any of them videos. You can go out and buy cloud storage. You could probably put, transfer them to a DVD drive. Would you have to burn it on there? And you couldn't get all of these videos right here on a DVD drive. You would have a stack of DVDs piled up on you. You'd spend all your time copying and saving your, um, your videos. Now, you don't know, YouTube could go out of business or I might want to produce my videos on some other website in the future or just have a record of the videos that I have produced when I'm no longer in this world. Somebody in my family can go back and look up each one of them up. So, I haven't got the count right in my head, but I have produced 
hundreds and hundreds of videos. So what do I do? I'll show you. This is an external hard drive. It's full and it only holds one terabyte. So it's got more room on this external hard drive than my entire desktop computer. Okay, that's full of videos and a few other files that I saved. That's about a terabyte. Well, I went out when that one got full and ordered this external hard drive. It's two terabytes and it just plugs in a USB slot. Now I've been letting these run and run and run. If at such time that um, this thing breaks or the motor in it quits, I'm gonna have to pay somebody to recover them videos off of there or um, use a program or something to recover it myself. So what I've done, I've unplugged these two external hard drives and I'm going to keep them in storage. It's such time if I want to copy one of those videos back onto my computer to edit with it or to do anything to it or to share it with anybody. I just plug it in a USB slot and the memory will be on there. I have no idea how long this external hard drive will hold memory. But I've read accounts of up to, up to 10 years before it starts fading or eroding off the drive. I don't know. I just know it's going to last probably longer than I'm going to be in this world. So anyway, yes, yesterday, I uh, filled up this one. Not yesterday, about last week. So both of those, there's three terabytes worth of YouTube videos that I'm saving. So I went on Amazon and ordered another one. Here's another external hard drive. You can buy these big old hard drives. I forget what you call them. You plug in here and put all kind of stuff onto it. I could leave them running constantly and access them anytime I want, but I don't want them to wear out. So those go into a drawer somewhere where they won't get lost. We're going to open this thing up and plug it into the computer today. And uh, I was going to use a Corel Video Studio to do a live screen capture, but I ain't able to get that program to work today. So I'm just using my GoPro today to produce this video. Now I've probably already bored most of my viewers to death, but let's open this thing up and hook it up. And just to give you an idea of how much effort it is to, uh, you know it, makes, it takes a lot of work to produce and edit a video. It takes a lot of time. And it would be stupid just to let them go to waste. I would imagine most people that upload to YouTube are depending on YouTube to save their videos for them. But you don't know what kind of, what the future holds in store when it comes to the internet. They could go out of business or their computers can crash. You no longer would have access to the videos that you spent so many hundreds of hours working on. It ain't uncommon for me to spend three or four hours producing a single video. When you figure I've got hundreds of them, I've got several years worth of effort tied up in that. It would be stupid not to save what you produced in the way of videos. So I just wanted to give you an idea um, just how much storage it takes to keep a video.